What is going on guys? Welcome to Forza Horizon 5. Today we will be driving the 2020 Shelby Ford GT500 Mustang and this thing is a beautiful piece of American V8 muscle car. So without further ado, let's take a look around this thing and see what we're working with. So welcome to the channel guys. So with this series, I'm gonna be showcasing a new car um, with every video and we're gonna go over the specs on the car, take a look around it. Uh, I'm gonna mention some facts about the car and then we're gonna give it a nice little road test without any commentary so you guys can hear the engine and um, get to see what the, what the cars can do. So let's get started with the exterior on this thing. So the Ford Shelby GT500 has this spoiler, carbon fiber spoiler on it, which actually um, is, you can control it on how, you, how much downforce you want, but the way it's built, the stock downforce on this thing is uh, supposed to be better than the 2007 uh, Ford GT that's a really badass car as well so this one has a little bit more rear downforce than it um, the other cool thing about this car is this massive uh, vent that they have on the hood so this is about 40% bigger than the GT 350s hood and um, it's a nice little feature because the way Ford has designed it, this thing also has a rain guard underneath it. So when it's raining, you put the rain guard on. Um, and on sunny days, when you want to take it out on the track, you take the rain guard out and you get a bunch of airflow into the engine. It's, it's functional. Um, but this is also the biggest uh, vent that they fit on a hood on, on any Ford, including the, the Ford Raptors. So it's pretty massive, looks pretty cool. I definitely enjoy it. Um, and of course you got the classic, uh, you know, Mustang, Shelby uh, hood pins, which are always a nice little, nice little touch. And they've been doing that since the early Mustangs, the sixties. It's kind of one of like their signature pieces um, that I actually like. And uh, we got the big Cobra sign on it. This is actually the largest Cobra sign that um, Shelby has put on any of their vehicles. You got the massive one in the rear. Um, and then you got the one in the front. You got them on the sides over here, as well as um, on the interior. You'll see it on the steering wheel as well. So while we're looking at the front over here, this car actually has eight radiators. Um, two for the V8. And there's like couple for the um what's it called the brakes and the transmission and all other things so it's got a total of eight radiators which is which is pretty impressive um and we of course we have the large 20 inch wheels and these are exposed carbon fiber wheels um very expensive to replace um there was an article i read that somebody did actually not know how to drive this car and and they totally ruined the wheels on it and from what i read it was really really expensive to to replace one of these wheels um so if you're gonna buy this car to drive make sure you <laughs> make sure you know how to drive it and of course it comes fitted with these you know large brembo brakes uh which are the largest brembo brakes on a domestic uh coupe so um any american car uh, more than a Corvette or, or whatever. I don't know which manufacturer also has these Brembo's, but these are the largest on a U.S. U.S. coupe car ever ever put on. So they're pretty massive. Um, and then in the back we got the, you know, the exhaust. Uh, these are five-inch exhaust pipes. And the cool little thing about this is um, when you're on the track and this thing is super fast, gets super hot. Uh, Ford and Shelby has have designed. Um, the rear to where it's actually heat resistant components surrounding the exhaust because um, this thing gets so hot that it would catch on fire if they did not have the heat resistant components 
around it, which is which is pretty neat. So this car, if you were to go buy it new, it's uh, the base price on this car starts at seventy thousand three hundred. That's the MSRP price, not the you know price you know you'll get it for because you know there's this crazy dealer markups right now. But seventy thousand three hundred is the MSRP starting price and of course if you want to get the carbon fiber kit um and like the nice entertainment luxury package in there it's about another twenty thousand more so you're looking about spending almost a hundred hundred k on this car msrp price um of course probably a little bit more with the dealer markups um so let's take a look at this engine real quick beautiful engine um a lot of carbon fiber parts in this car um, all over the exterior, the interior has them, um, little components on the engine have them as well. This is a, this is a V8, uh, supercharged, um, produces 760 horsepower, which is incredibly fast. And it's supposed to go zero to 60 in the, in the mid, mid three seconds. So really fast, really quick. And the, the only downfall on this car is, is actually the weight because if it, if they made this car a little bit lighter this thing would be you know smoking all kinds of supercars um but of course the weight uh it is a little heavier than for example your Europe, european cars um but yeah v8 760 horsepower this has the same supercharger uh, as the 2019 corvette cr1 so both chevy and ford um end up using the same supercharger on both their supercars um they also share this this also shares the same seven speed dual clutch transmission as the new mid-engine 2020 corvette so that's a cool little uh piece right there so yeah that's the engine um let's take a look at the interior of this car real quick let's hop right in um Typical Ford interior, nothing too crazy. Uh, a lot of the knobs and components are very similar to other Ford cars. Um, of course, you got the big Cobra on the steering wheel. You have the GT500 badge. Carbon fiber interior looks really nice. Um, I love the little switches over here that it has. And uh, they ended up changing the shifter on this. They actually took this round shifter knob from the Ford Fusion. Um, I'm not a big fan of it. I prefer to have uh, some sort of like, sh you know, shifter I can put my hand on while I'm driving. And they also did not make a manual uh, transmission on this car. It's uh, automatic only. And you got, of course, the, the large paddle shifters that uh, you can use. So let's fire this bad boy up. Now the way I'm going to be driving this car for you guys, there's no modifications on this. Um, I left it stock, so you can just see how it performs while it's in uh, stock mode. Nothing added to it. It is the way it, that it is. So grab the engine. Beautiful sound to it. Awesome car. This car is just awesome. It's one of my all-time favorite cars. Um, let me know in the comments what, what, what you guys think of the the 2020 Shelby GT500. Is it a car that you would want to drive? Um, or is it a car that you would pass on? I personally love it. That's, that's my opinion of it. Um, so we're going to take this thing out, see how it performs. Um, I won't have any commentary, so you guys can just hear the, the engine. And uh, yeah, before we get started, if you guys could just please like the video, subscribe for the YouTube algorithm, and um, I'm hoping I can make more videos for you guys if there's a lot of love on this video. So let's go. Thanks, guys.
thank you guys for watching that's the end of the video please let me know in the comments what kind of car you guys want to see on the next video and uh like subscribe comment and let's get this channel growing guys look at that beautiful raptor right next to us that could be our next car guys all right take it easy